Ladies and gentlemen, fishy friends, welcome back to Mega Aquarium. That's right, it's jellyfish time. That's that's not something that I've ever said before, but you never know. Might find myself saying it more in the future. A deep outcrop tank. What a wonderful, what a wonderful little herald as we get into this game. Okay, what do we want to what do we want to unlock? Uh, we're on rank 8, so we're fairly getting through this uh, this whole science stuff. A tool belt dispenser. Maybe, 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 maybe. I feel like we should get a staff room. Does that not seem like a very, very sensible suggestion? I think it would be a good idea to get a staff room up and running. Uh, we're almost actually hitting the next prestige rank as well, which is kind of ridiculous, but there we are. Uh, we've got tortoises. No, not tortoises. Turtles. Turtles are different from tortoises. Tortoise eye. Whatever the case, we got them. Uh, I would like to get the jellyfish enclosure up and running as well because that's kind of unique and kind of a little bit zany so that'd be kind of good we also need to find something to put in here i'm not entirely sure what we're gonna stick in this tank tank number 28 uh the tunnel tank it looks so good but uh i have nothing to put in it yet so like <laughs> i guess we'll have to find something anyway let's stick some jellyfish in into this tank because that's at least confirmed because this is a very very specific type of tank that is for jellyfish. So, uh, whoops, I should have checked. Do the jellyfish grow? They do grow to six, so why don't we try sticking, like, what, three in? Three jellyfish in here? One, two, three jellyfish. What do we need? We need a little bit of filtration. We need a little bit of chilliness. That's totally fine. We can do that. And to be honest, it looks like... It looks like these... Looks like these jellyfish can totally coexist with other stuff as well, which is kind of great. Uh, starfish, what are you? This is a... I don't even know what type of... What type of fish this is. So could we stick in... Could we stick in a pie crust crab? Animals with a size of 1 to 3. I think we could... I think we could throw some pie crust crabs in here. After... After we get done with... After we get done with these jellyfish growing. That would be kind of... That would be kind of good. Because they're not crustaceans, are they? Are they even animals? Do jellyfish count as animals? I know that sounds like a really obscene question, but there we go. Uh, yeah, sure. Is this a crustacean? A pie crust crab? But this doesn't seem like a crustacean. Okay, you know what? I'm going to risk it. Let's throw three crabs in there, and let's throw three common lobsters in there as well. Why the heck not, right? Uh, we might be a little bit pressed for space in this tank with regards to floor equipment because we're going to need to make sure that we get some, well, 12 houses specifically. There we go. And we need one final bit of house. A driftwood log. Sure, excellent. That looks good, right? That looks excellent. There are a lot of feeding requirements for this tank, but that's totally, totally fine. Okay. Is there any conceivable way that we can move this up a little bit? Because it does look pretty bad in this in this location. What about side on? Side on seems like not terrible, but again, we still have we still have issues. Yeah, this is uh this is not this is not a nice tank to arrange. Uh, I really don't think that it fits in here very well. I guess we'll we'll do that. Sure, and I might even leave this access area open so that. People can wander down the side and have a look at all of the strange and interesting species of fish that we uh, that we have. Okay, let's get the let's get the equipment sorted first. We will get the large filter. Throw that down the back there. Unbelievably, that doesn't deal with all the filtration needs. So we're gonna have to get a protein skimmer. Cool. Uh, it'll be in view, but that's. I guess a price that we have to pay and then let's get a chiller a large chiller stick that down there excellent that's plenty of chilling wonderful and then just to polish the thing off we need to make sure that we've got a little access panel stress from being housed outside of the species its genus I okay so does that mean that we can only house it with other jellyfish I mean that's really irritating, if that's the case, to be brutally honest. Okay. Throw... Throw everything in there. How about that? And then throw... 
this into there or this into there okay how about that does that work we haven't chilled it but we we will this jellyfish tank is very boring like obscenely boring we're gonna need to get stuff in there uh let's get zooplankton for the jellyfish and supplements mussels and crab supplements mussels and crab crab supplements uh and mussels wonderful not bloodworm mussels here we go Okay, so all of the feeding requirements are here. We've got the crabs and the lobsters in this tank. This is a very, very lame tank if it's just got lobsters and crabs in. Yeah, not not in love with that, to be honest, but it'll have to do for now, I guess. Uh, yep, stairs, wonderful. We've now got access. Water temperature's too high. Yeah, that's because we haven't thrown in a filter or two yet. Is that cold enough now? not even cold enough what about one small filter nope so small filter isn't even the right size we're gonna have to go for two big filters oh my goodness gracious me the sheer amount of tech that we have to have powering this tank is is actually kind of a little bit ridiculous right uh, is this even required now that that filtration thing might not even be required. We might just be able to get away with a mega filter in the corner here. There we go. And then can I get away with just selling this? <gasps> it's totally fine. It's totally fine. Excellent. Okay, so we've got lobsters. We've got crabs in here. We've got some jellyfish, which do absolutely nothing, but look kind of funky, I guess. It's jellyfish for goodness sake. Let's stick a staff access door in there so that people can't get behind. I know that I said I was thinking about keeping it open, but I, I lied, in fact. And I'm not going to do that because I don't want people to see the horrible behind-the-scenes stuff that is going on. Anyway, with three brand new species thrown into thrown into the exhibits, I think we can be pretty darn chuffed with that, to be honest. That's, that's actually really, really nice. I'm just going to be on the lookout for cold fish going forward because I want to keep an eye out frilled anemone we've already got a frilled anemone a marbled serpent starfish no so anything that's cold we can we can think about sticking in crustaceans the size of one to two yeah this is definitely a crustacean obviously but one to three yeah we could throw some turbots into this tank if we wanted to crustaceans one to four Cuckoo Rass, a lump sucker. Dislikes food competitors. Well, I, I'm i afraid you can't be in the lobster exhibit because the lobsters eat mussels and they also eat crustaceans. Right. What about the Atlantic mackerel? No, not even that works because the Atlantic mackerel is a wimp and the 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 big lobster is a, is a bully. So, there you go. We're going to have mackerel mackerel harassed by lobsters that's strange very very strange indeed um a leopard shark i really should get a leopard shark right like i should totally get a leopard shark but we need to get a rounded tank in order to in order to get that maybe we should get a belfast tank specifically for specifically for the shark i think that's a great idea actually yeah, we'll have to do that in the new exhibit because we're a little bit crammed for space at this moment in time. Right. This aquarium is untidy. Is it actually untidy? I don't think so. Can you get out of there, please? I need this floor. There we go. I need this floor back. Can I? No. Just give me this. No, okay. Apparently, I cannot... Apparently, I cannot get that tile back. All right, well, that's fine. So why why are people complaining about my lobsters? Why are they complaining? Another common lobster is present. Are you kidding me? Lobsters can't be housed with other lobsters? Oh, my. But they're... Dislikes competition. Okay, so you're telling me that we need to get, like, one specific lobster, then. 
So we get one lobster and three pie crust crabs. Oh boy. All right. Well, you know what? The crab and lobster exhibit. It's not really... It's not really hugely interesting as a first exhibit. As a first exhibit into the... Oh, I've messed this up, haven't I? Uh, as a first exhibit into the... Into the aquarium. However, it's what we've got. You know, so... That is... That is the way of the world, unfortunately. Right. Let's get let's get these lobsters fed. Sorry, one singular lobster. Let's get it fed. I guess that's something that we can do. Uh, we're probably going to level up pretty darn soon. The turtles have all grown. Excellent. Um, Pachu, Paku, spotted boxfish for sale. Very cool. A couple of leveling up events. Cool. Feeding and feeding. Excellent. Yeah, I think... Holy cow. Leveling up to level 9 to start the episode off. That's kind of crazy. Jungle paint, asparagus weed, a whole bunch of stuff. A whole bunch of additional fish. Shark hat shelf. Medium beach shark... Medium beach tank. Large pump triple filter. Large tunnel tank. Very cool. Atlantic cod. All right. Still no, still no sign of sharks though. Like I want, I want some sharks. I don't think, I don't think you can keep great white sharks in, uh, in captivity. In saying that, however, it would be cool if I could at least try. Or maybe that wouldn't be cool. Maybe that would be the opposite of cool. Maybe it would be, maybe it would be cruel and mean. It would probably be cruel and mean the more that I'm thinking about it. However, this is a video game. And therefore, I kind of feel like a big shark would go a long way to making my, uh, making my aquarium pretty darn great. Alright, what do we need in order to hit the last level? We need 4,550 prestige points, which is, I mean, it's not far off, to be honest. We're, uh, we're certainly getting there. A couple, a couple more crab exhibits and people will be falling head over heels in love with my, with my exhibit. So that's kind of fun. Uh, what else do I want to stick in? I do want to get a shark tank. I really, really, really want to get a shark tank. Should we try, should we try buying a brand new tank? It needs to be, it needs to be curved. A small tunnel tank is curved. Okay, so it literally needs to be either a Belfast tank or a small tunnel tank. We've already got one Belfast tank. Maybe we could stick the shark in there? Mm, no, because that's fresh water, isn't it? And... I mean, the whole freshwater area is area that needs work. A fan shrimp? My goodness gracious me. Okay, you know what? Fine. We're going to get a shark exhibit, then we're going to focus on freshwater. Also, why did you complain? You didn't complain. You only thought about complaining. Interesting. Toadstool leather coral. Now, I think I actually have a place, perhaps, for... I think I have a place for you. All right. Keep on heading through here. What's the temperature of this tank? This is a hot, hot tank. I would love to throw that brand new fish that I just unlocked, which isn't actually a fish at all. How does that work? That works totally, totally great. Okay, so we've got an anemone tank. That's, that's real good. And it seems like that has gone down an absolute storm. Yeah, so we've actually got all anemones. What about what about this in here? How does that work? <gasps> Royal grammar? What's... Oh, dislikes... Oh no, it's just unhappy because it missed its last feeding. Okay, so as long as we feed it, uh, feed the tank more, then we should be totally fine. Okay, that's great. So that's just another couple of additional species into the tanks, which is wonderful. We have a lot of cleaning missions to, to get through. So it'd be great if we could do that as swiftly as we possibly can. We are missing a whole bunch of food. But that's fine. We'll get there. We'll get there eventually. We'll uh, we'll manage to get on top of this, I have no doubt. Keep up the great work, everyone. Keep up the great work. Okay, back to, back to a brand new exhibit. Where do we want to stick the brand new exhibit? I think we want to stick a brand new exhibit, like, around here somewhere. So why don't we go about getting this area expanded something like that and then we'll just do something like this and then we'll zone a tank in here 
big old big old Belfast tank in there. And we will throw down some sharks. I'm gonna try and keep the walk route on this like reasonably contained. I should probably finish the walk route before I open up the exhibit. There we go. And we're gonna enter, or should I say re-enter the other exhibit over there. Cool. Get rid of that. Cool. Alrighty. Excellent. Now, we're gonna need to expand this area out here because I want to get tanks all the way all the way along the entire route of this walkway. I just wanted to zone it first because I mean it seems like something to do, right? Seems like a seems like a, the right thing to do, seems like the good thing to do. Who knows? Who the heck knows? Okay, let's get a little staff access area up here and let's see if we can throw down a couple of sharks. How many how many sharks can we actually throw in here? Four sharks? Is that too many sharks or is that just enough sharks? They eat crustaceans between a size of uh, 1 to 12, so it's quite, quite big, in fact. Atlantic mackerel can't go in there. No. Anything else? This is a cold water tank. A cold water fish, even, so that's not great. Anything else? I think, to be honest, I think that's most of the warm water fish taken care of. We have a couple of cold water fish that need to find a home. But that's really it in terms of warm water fish, I think. Yeah, every every fish that I can see here is is happy. Uh, what about you? Yeah, stick you in there. All right, the dory fish, the regal, the regal tang. Yeah, cool. All right, I think that's I think that's it mostly. Dislikes con specifics. Blue and yellow groupers. When fully grown, eats animals between a size of one and four. What's the size of the leopard shark right now? It's 12 right now. But that doesn't even eat animals. So you know what? Let's throw down a blue and yellow grouper. Sure. Uh, anything else? I don't think so. Again, warm water fish is doing it. Okay. The mirror anthea is an animal. And it is under the size that is requested. Or sorry, not requested, but the size that the blue and yellow grouper will actually eat. So that's a that's a no-go there. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a bit of a bummer, actually, because I would love to get a Miraranthia down. We'll see if I can find some place for that, because I suspect I will be able to. Anyway, let's get this area set up first. We need to... We need to get a filter down as swiftly as we possibly can because if we don't, then we're going to have we're going to have a lot of uh, a lot of fish which are not going to be with us for long. Let's go into two times speed. There we go. How does that work? Eh, not hugely well, to be honest. Not hugely well at all. Go for a large protein skimmer. Will that get us across the line? I suspect that it will. It does indeed. Okay, water temperature's too low. Don't worry about it. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Right, we need to get a mega heater. Does that heat the temperature up sufficiently? It looks like it totally does. A red-bellied piranha. Ah, yes. A piranha. That sounds fun, doesn't it? Okay, uh, I'm going to get the feeding tanks or all of the feeding bits and bobs that I actually require. Oh, I can toggle the priority. Very cool indeed. Uh, I'm going to set all the feeding tanks up right here. But we'll do that just after we get all of the rocks and stuff down. Pitted column. Let's throw that in there like so. And then we need six bits of plant life. Velvet horn. Sure. Velvet horn will be just grand. Wonderful. Okay, and that's everyone that's super happy. Great, so that's another three species that we've just managed to sort there with relative ease. Uh, so, I need to get herring. Herring. What else do I need to get? Supplements. And I think that's... Not sand eel. What is it? It's... It is sand eel. Okay. Wonderful. Sand eel and... This one. Supplement cabinet. 
And I didn't have enough money for that, which is very, very irritating, but that is what it is. 600 and 675 bucks for, for supplements. That's quite a lot for supplements, to be honest with you. But there is a supplement box just over here, so maybe I'll just maybe I'll just let it slide. That's fine. Alright, well, I don't like how guests are just wandering around around the back here. I'm gonna throw up a door right over here. There we go. Yeah, get you out of there. Staff door in there to keep people away. And, of course, we need Krill as well. Alright, throw that down. And then we've got a shark exhibit, basically. That's fantastic, really. Alright, I really do need to focus on freshwater stuff. Because that's where my real, that's where my real prestige is going to come from. It is very, very important that I do that. Okay. Looking very, very good. Nothing too untoward is occurring. Looks like we're getting a good amount of good amount of research, good amount of ecology points, good amount of prestige. A uh, good number of people are visiting all of the exhibits, which is great. It looks like it's pretty it's pretty much working the way that I uh, the way that I wanted it to, where there is a a, def a definite flow to the Oh, crabs are grown. Wonderful. There's a definite flow to the, you know, to the aquarium, which is really, really nice. Okay, Alwyn is leveled up. Excellent. Congratulations. Interested in some discus. Sure, I guess, maybe. Tom was leveled up. Fixing. Fixing. A green eel died from hunger. Uh, well, that's miserable. Am I able to throw another eel in there, or are we going to have... Yeah, okay. Get get this fed, please. High priority. Yeah, please make sure that we feed all of our fishes. This is very important. It also takes, like, a long, long time to apparently... To apparently feed all of the fish in this tank. Um... So that's not great, but look, it's fine. You know, one fish one fish dies, one eel dies. That's that's okay. Uh, right, so there was one other fish that was warm water and salt water that I was thinking of throwing down. A mirror anthea. Uh, we can't stick it in here because there's lights in there. One can't be placed in freshwater tank. Oh, yeah. Where was I going to... Where was I going to throw it? A mirror anthea is a size of six, and I don't think that it's going to exist happily with this eel. I don't think so at all. Mm, nope. What about what about in here? Stony corals. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's try throwing uh let's try throwing the fish into the same tank as the uniform sturgeon surgeon fish. One, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. Hey, hey, that's another one. Okay, a panther crab. That's a freshwater crab, so of course it's going to be neglected until I absolutely have to get freshwater stuff. Uh, there's also a little bit of a, a little bit of an issue with regards to pumping and filtration, but that's fine. That can actually be rectified very, very easily if I just throw in like a basic pump right over here. There we go. And then we throw in a... I think a protein... No, sorry, not a protein skimmer. A nitrate thingamabobber. There we go. That should return us to... That should return us to uh, to, to water quality. Apparently, it totally doesn't. A uh, bit of a bummer, but okay. Throw down a large nitrate thingamabobber. What do I need? I need 620 bucks. Fine. Okay, that gets us across the line. That's excellent. That's really, really good. And that gets us another species in there. Okay, the the eel is still at risk of death because the herring is just not coming thick and fast enough, unfortunately. But there we go. Okay. Eaten by horse eye jack. All right, bit of a bummer. So we cannot introduce more green eels into that tank because everything is already leveled up to a sufficient level. 
That's not good. That's not good. I will say that is, uh, it's got a definite stink of not being good. I, I'm unlocking all of these gift shop, like, capabilities, and yet I'm not able to, I'm not able to build a, a gift shop. I mean, I would love to build a gift shop. I would love to build a gift shop. Maybe we should, uh, see if we can try and get some more money generating. Money generating, uh, buildings. Certainly this area feels very gift shoppy, you know what I mean? So why don't we try getting, uh, we've already got fizzy drinks machines over here. Let's throw down a guidebook shelf. Excellent. Two guidebook shelves. A balloon shelf. Yeah, wonderful for some balloons. No idea if that's going to make any difference at all. And also a balloon supply and a guidebook supply. I guess we need those both, right? Would kind of make sense. All right, guidebook supply and the balloon supply. Cool. All right, lots and lots of guidebooks, lots and lots of balloons. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at those, look at those dollars. Excellent. Okay, a mega double filter. The names just keep on getting crazier, don't they? Uh, popcorn cart. Sure, let's go for it. Okay, so we've got a shark tank. We've got a, we've got a jellyfish tank. It's weird that there's only one type of jellyfish, so this tank is absolutely barren as anything. I guess we could get something to go in the tank. You know, maybe a, maybe a lantern. Sure, just to make it a little bit less decrepit. Compass. I know that none of the none of the artifacts really go with the design. However, is it really that big a deal? I don't think it is. I think we can just about tolerate a little bit of design inconsistency just to make sure that this isn't the worst tank in the entirety of the aquarium. Uh, canoe? Canoe's a little bit big. Guess it's a no on the canoe. Modern art, also a little bit big, unfortunately. Palm tree, no, we've already tried to stick that in. A crab trap. That should definitely go in here, right? Definitely makes sense to have a crab-themed object in a crab enclosure. Although, maybe the crab will get trapped in the, uh, in the enclosure. You never know. It could happen. Right, any issues? No issues whatsoever. Everything looks great. You can learn a new skill. Congratulations. You're going to learn feeding. Wait, hey, another fish unlocked. And we're on day 137. Holy cow. And we're almost up to level 10. Oh my goodness, the amount of progress that we're making is just insane. It really, really is. Okay. Okay, a common cuttlefish. A common cuttlefish and a butterfly ram. I have absolutely no idea how to acquire these fish, by the way. Absolutely zilcho idea how to acquire these fish. Also, I think we need to get down a large nitrate reactor over there. Goodness me, look at the size of that beast. Look at the size of that beast. Okay, uh, fresh water. I need more fresh water stuff. Desperate, desperate, desperate desperate for more freshwater fish at this moment in time. So, in order to combat that desperation, I'm going to add a whole bunch of extra space out this way, and we're going to prepare a brand new tank to go down over here. What's a nice big fancy tank that we've got? A jetty tank? Could get a jetty tank over here. Sure, I mean, it's not that big though, is it? Well, I know, I tell a lie, it is actually quite big. It's, it's very big, in fact. It's a depth of three. Tunnel tank's a depth of four, though, so... It is bigger. Well, it's not bigger, but it is deeper. Alright. Let's, let's see how much that costs. How much does that end up costing us? That's gonna cost us three grand. Okay, I think that's what we want to do. I think also this is going to be an expansion of Rivet Ridge. I also need to make sure that I theme this area appropriately. Let's say we try... Let's say we try some Sleek. Let's try Sleek, sure. 
Nice. Okay, nice and sleek. Very... I don't know. Sleek aquarium-esque. Popcorn cart. Excellent. Deluxe toilet. People aren't going to know what hit them. Excellent. 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 I'm going to work on the fade in just a second. But if I just... If I make the whole thing into the sleek design that I so require, then I'm sure everything will be grand. Okay. Any deaths? No deaths. But sharks are leveling up, and that is good. Look at the size of these things. Wonderful. Okay, let's get a cod. Look at the size of these fish. Oh, man, that's great. That is wonderful. Uh, also, you know what I'm thinking I should do? I should get a tool station or two down here. They do seem like pretty essential bits of equipment, and therefore... I should get more of them. It's that simple. Feeding stick dispenser. This does seem like something I should get in order to assist with the feeding of this tank. Because this tank is... It just takes a brutally long time. Okay. Let's get a whole bunch of feeding sticks. Right. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And those feeding sticks just cost me a arm and a leg. I was going to build a tank with that money. I was going to build a tank with that money. Yeah, see, look how long it takes. Look how long it takes to actually feed the herring. It's a wonder that more fish don't actually end up dying. All right, let me sign another deal. A giant hatchet fish. Never heard of it. But I'm not particularly worried. Uh, maybe I should get a bin here and there. That might be an idea. But there are a couple of bins dotted around. And doesn't seem to be causing too much of an issue. Maybe a bin over here would be good, actually. Let's, uh, let's throw a bin down here. Throw a bin down there. Bin down there. And a bin in over there. Cool. Deluxe toilet. Excellent. A toy shelf. Wonderful. Okay, you know what? A couple of bins should go a long way to helping the tidiness of this aquarium. I keep wanting to say zoo. I have no idea why. I just really, really, really want to say zoo more. Maybe I'll just start referring to this as a zoo. That does seem a little bit unnecessary, though. Anyway, let's get a jetty tank down. Wonderful. What was I going to build? What was I going to build in here? Oh, yes. This was going to be another freshwater exhibit, wasn't it? Well, we've gone for, we've gone for, I mean, we've got a neutral, we've got a neutral tank. We've got a acidic tank over here. What other, what other fish do we need to throw in here? Pairs only. Okay, so another neutral tank. A guppy, we could get a guppy, it's a wimp. This seems like a pretty, a pretty chill fish, to be honest. The gardener's, the gardener's kill fish. Let me try one, two, throwing that in there. What's the issue? There's a water quality issue, and then there is also a bog wood issue. Let me see if I can fix that up. Okay, it is going to adjust the water acidity, like, ever so slightly, but it's still going to very much be neutral water. Right. And then we can rectify this by selling, 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 selling. Let's get a single mega filter. And then let's see if we can try and get a... Hmm. In fact, maybe that will honestly be fine. Yeah, ditch that. Does that does that do it for us? No, not even close. Not even close. Okay, so we're going to need to get another mega heater. Maybe that's not even required. Okay, a single mega heater is what we're going to go for. Excellent. I know it's taking me a while to get the right assortment of uh, of resources. But we'll get there. Don't worry about it. And one more large nitrite dispenser. Yeah, sure. Let's go for that. Oh, you're kidding me. We are ever so slightly off the heat requirement. Okay. Combi mini. No, you know what? Just get another large heater. Cool. All right. Excellent. That works. I'm happy about it. Wonderful. Okay, so that is another fish taken care of. I always love how, you know, we're able to just occasionally find a... Occasionally find a fish that's just gonna slot right in. It's wonderful. 
Okay, nibbler. Nibblable. Okay, we can't put nibblable fish in with nibblers. That's that's just a, a recipe for disaster, to be honest. Okay, so maybe we should start this exhibit off with a, a guppy. Where is the Amazonian anglefish, actually? Oh, that's acidic. Yeah, I forgot. Okay. Uh, Congo tetra, blind cave tetra. Okay, we've got all of the... Char char charakins? Sure, we got all of those. A red-bellied piranha eats fish between three to five in size. So the guppy is a, is a no-go on that front, unfortunately. And we need either one or six of these red-bellied piranhas. I mean, how crazy would it be to stick... To stick them in here? No, okay, it would be a bad idea because there's a lot of small fish that the piranha would just... The piranhas would just absolutely decimate. Okay, so piranhas are a no-go in that tank. Uh, red tail catfish. Between 3 to 16. You know what? Maybe... Maybe... We see if we can try and get a red tail catfish and a red bellied piranha. In this tank. Okay, here's an idea. I'm going to put 6... One, two, three, four, five, six. Six in there. And then we will get... What, like one? Just get one in there. Cool. I know, I know, I know, I know. We're going to need a lot of stuff to make this to make this area work, but that's fine. And a sunshine pleco as well. Cool. All right. So what, is, what does that require? Oh my god. Goodness gracious me. So apart from the fact that we don't have... Wow, we don't have anything. We don't have anything for these... For these poor fish. I mean, it looks good though. And that's three brand new species if we can get it. So let's see if we can try and get it, eh? Okay, let's expand out. Let's expand out. Expand... This over there. Wonderful. Expand that all out. So what do we need to do as an absolute priority? I mean, we need water filtration. That is... That is always a priority, right? 410 bucks. Okay. Get that down. Actually takes us very, very close to where we need to be. Get a small nitrate reactor. That gets us across the line as well. Acidity regulation now. And we've got a large RO machine. No... Gosh darn it, we don't have a large RO machine. Work on the large RO machine. That's actually really, really important. Very, very important indeed. Uh, also, we need to make sure that we heat the tank. Cool. Okay, so that heats it an appropriate amount. Now it's just all about the acidity. Okay, we can get the acidity in two ways, as you will know. We can get it through the the bogwood logs or through our own machines. I think we go for bogwood logs, to be honest. Right, so we're gonna... Okay, nothing died? Nothing died, I don't think. Autopsy report, red-bellied piranha. Okay, so the red-bellied piranha and the sunshine pleco need to be replaced, but that's fine. Honestly, a fatality rate that low is something that I can be, well, not happy about, but not exactly upset about. Okay, I think the rest of the, the rest of the acidity should come through the RO machines. Okay. Cool. One more, one more. Get us across the line today, please. Excellent. Okay, that's good. So now people are just unhappy. Okay, so the red-bellied... The red-bellied piranha needs to be replaced. Throw that down. Cool. And then the sunshine pleco, if I can recall. We've already got two of these. We've already got two of them. Hmm. Hmm. Was it a sunshine pleco? It was a sunshine pleco. And I guess I'd put... Three of them? Tank 31? This is the... 
This is the tank that I'm dealing with right now. Where are the other Sunshine Plecos then? Because we've got two other ones. Have we already got them? Are they already in this tank with me right now? I don't think so. Where the heck are the Sunshine Plecos? Ah, they're in the they're in the big bridge tank here. Okay, well that's totally fine. I guess I don't need the Sunshine Plecos in there. Fan shrimp. Do the piranhas eat crustaceans? Yes, they do. These are hot crustaceans. We need to get a a uh, a freshwater crustacean tank actually. Explorer, explorer, communal. Yeah, okay, that's good. I think we can put these two together, right? Requires acidic or neutral water. Yeah. Yeah, we can totally do nibbleable nibbler. Okay, no, we can't put these two together. We cannot put these two together. That's unbelievably irritating. We could put the crab in with... In with this lot, though, I think, right? No, no, that's not, not true. Also, animals between... Animals between 3 and 16 in size. These red tail... These red-bellied piranhas will grow to 15 in size, which is gonna... They're just gonna be... They're gonna be fish food for this catfish. Gosh darn it. Okay, the catfish is out. Catfish is out. Just get me... Just get me some snake grass. Sure. Excellent. And that's actually breeding surfaces as well. For the piranhas, I believe. Okay. We just need to make sure that we, we feed some stuff. Feed these guys some stuff. Let's get a roach dispenser down at the back here. It sounds disgusting. I have no idea what that is. I'm assuming it's not cockroaches. But again, that maybe is a an assumption too far. All right. Brilliant. A large RO machine. Fantastic. Right. Keep up the great work, everyone. And then let's throw down a staff door here as well to keep things keep things chill behind the scenes. All right. Wonderful. So what do we throw else? What else do we throw into this tank? Any acidic fish, basically, that's decently large in size. Congo Tetra, we've already got. Piranha catfish. I mean, the red-tailed catfish, it's just so big. It is huge. What a absolute ginormous, ginormous machine. 3 to 16. Ah, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I think, I think we could get a red-tailed catfish and a fan shrimp in the same, in the same tank together. Because the fan shrimp is so small. No, actually, no, tell a lie. It's a size of three. Okay, so we, we need to find a smaller... A smaller fish if we wanted to pair it. Well, gosh darn it. I think we're just going to have to get more tanks, right? I mean, I don't, I don't want to do it, but we're going to have to, unfortunately. Joel is leveled up. That's not my concern at this moment in time. You don't seem like you're very good at feeding, to be honest. Given that it's going to take you an entire day to feed this, uh, to feed this fish, or these fishes, these fish eye. Sure, whatever. Uh, okay, what else do we? What else do we need to get? I mean, nothing really. I don't think. Yeah, just get get fed, please. Butterfly ram. Uh, one fish is at risk of death because of hunger. Yeah, that's... I'm gonna put that as a high priority task. Sure. Fine. Okay, looking good. Looking real, real good. We still need to work on our freshwater game, to be honest. We still need to work on our freshwater game. Small tunnel tank, small beach tank. Belfast tank. Give me a lagoon tank. Lagoon tank just seems like an admission of defeat, really. A feeding platform tank. Yeah, let's go for a feeding platform tank, eh? That sounds like a great idea. Okay. I think one more tank along this back wall here. One more tank along the back wall here. Staff door is a little bit... 
A little bit unnecessary now, I guess. But that's fine. Okay, a slender seahorse. Excellent. A red leg hermit crab as well. Wonderful. So, this slender seahorse. This slender seahorse is salt water. Any way that I can just immediately incorporate that into the design. I say it's fresh water. I say it's salt water. Is it actually fresh water? Where the heck is it? Slender seahorse. Seahorses and sea dragons. Cannot be housed with non seahorses. I mean, uh, that's a bummer. That's a bu that's gonna make for a really, really irritating, really, really, really irritating uh, fish to house. But that's actually not a problem. Okay, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. We got a couple of we got a couple of lame fish over here, right? What do we got here? We got half and half chloromis in uh, in this tank. And we've got Orchid Dotty Backs. I mean, we've got other tanks that can presumably accept Orchid Dotty Backs, right? Red Tail Butterfly Fish. They eat stony corals. Can I just sell half of these... Half of these fish in this tank? Right, sell half the fish in that tank. And then move across the Dotty Backs. And I'm presuming that that's not going to be... A problem at all. I've already got another orchid dolly back elsewhere, but that's fine. Look, it's fine. Okay, so that sorts out a housing shortage that we had for the seahorses, and now we can stick the seahorses quite comfortably into here. I think two is is appropriate, right? Two is totally fine. There needs to be a group of more than two. However, they are going to grow in size, and they're going to grow in size up to a size of four, so they're going to double, and therefore they are going to fill up the entirety of the tank. Excellent. Okay, so we just need to get rid of these rocks, I guess. Get rid of the decorations. Throw in a bit of eelgrass. Is that not enough? Doesn't look like it. Get rid of those decorations, and instead get down another bit of eelgrass. Excellent. Oh, look at that. What a lovely exhibit. And then we throw down... We throw down a slightly bigger filter at the back, and I think that's that's us, right? Wow, this was still on a basic filter this whole darn time. Well, I mean, if it, if it doesn't need to be changed, it doesn't need to be changed, does it? I guess we can keep... I guess we can keep the basic heater running. And then we'll just need to bump it up, presumably, to a to a power filter. Nope. More than a power filter. A large filter. Nope. More than a large filter. What if I try a large protein skimmer? A large protein skimmer and a large filter? I mean, doesn't get more irritating than that. Frankly, the fact that I have to go through all of this effort just to feed the seahorse... A little bit irritating, but that's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Alright, and then a power filter. That definitely is going to combine to make more than enough. Okay, now we are required to put down a supplement, which, as we all know, costs a ridiculously large amount of money. Where do I want to stick it down? Let's throw it down over here. Excellent. And a live Artemia culture. No idea what that is. No idea what that is at all. And this in itself needs to be fed. Okay, wowzers. That's uh, that's quite something. Can we not just buy the culture pre-fed? Or, or I guess it's got a short shelf life? Like a really short shelf life? Okay. So that's looking good. That's looking that's looking real good, in fact. Okay, so that's going to be the first thing. That's going to be the first thing that people see when they come in. And that is that is a 12 prestige fish. Like that's the reason that I thought, hey, it would be great if we could throw this up at the uh, up at the front of the up at the front of the exhibit. 12 prestige. It's huge. Okay, a feeding platform tank. That is a very very big tank. A U tank as well. No idea really what the appeal in that is, but that's fine. Anything else that I feel like I need to get, even on rank 9? Not particularly. 
That's fine. Okay. This is all looking real, real good. Lots of fish are breeding. Excellent. Still no idea how on earth I'm going to... I'm going to fulfill these missions. A butterfly ram? Is a butterfly ram a fish that I've got? I feel like it should be, right? Red tail catfish? No, I don't have it. Maybe I need to buy these fish from somebody? A hatchet fish? No idea. No idea at all. No idea at all. A common cuttlefish? I must be able to. I must be able to buy. I must be able to buy some of these fish, right? Spotted box fish for sale? I mean, it looks great. It looks really, really great. You've leveled up. Fixing. Congratulations. Leveling up. A wobblegong shark. Uh, maybe you could... Maybe you could slot into our shark tank at some point. Butterfly ram. Wolfish, no. Butterfly ram. Ah, okay. So we need to trade, we need to trade an eel in order to get... <gasps> and a common cuttlefish as well. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, where do we put this? Where do we put this? This is a chill tank. It eats crustaceans. What about, what about this one here? Animals with a size of one to five. Okay, so that's a no. What about in here? You know what? I think... Mm, no, because the striped, the striped boxer fish would, uh, would eat it. Okay, you know what? At least we've got, at least we've got a, a game plan now, right? We've got a game plan. The eel is at risk of death. We do have one kind of fully grown eel, though, don't we? And yet it's... Oh, God. We just got... These eels are so big and they eat so much food. They eat so much food. It's infuriating. Well, that is what it is. Okay. But I think we can... I think we can get... I think we can get what we uh, what we require now. You know what? I think we're going to get a lagoon tank. Throw down a lagoon tank over there. Just on the spur of the moment sort of purchase. You know? And then let's go to our emails. Let's buy the common cuttlefish. Oh, my God. I got four of them. I didn't realize that I had four of them. Okay, well, that's a bit of a bummer. Because I don't think I'm going to have space for all four of them in, in here. But you never know. Maybe I will. Water temperature is too high. That's okay. We'll chill them right down. In fact, is there any chance that I can maybe stick them in here? This is quite a filled tank already. Cuckoo wrasse creatures of size 1 to 4. Whereas these guys are a size of 6 at the moment. These guys eat between 1 and 6. Okay, so if I was to throw them in there before they were ready, then they would just get annihilated by the Atlantic Pollock. So, unfortunately, unfortunately, it's a no-go on transferring them to the Pollock tank. It's a bunch of Pollocks, if you ask me. Nope. Okay, just me. Alright. I apologize. Bad joke. Okay, uh, I think we'll have to get a pumping system set up over here. At least we're going to fulfill a mission, right? At least we're going to fulfill a mission. A mega cooler. That is that is overkill. That is overkill. Total overkill. That is underkill. Total underkill. That is just right. Excellent. Okay. Let's get some pumping. We shouldn't really need that much pumping capability, to be honest. Maybe that... Yeah, maybe that'll be just fine. That one singular... That one singular mega filter. All right, now let's get some some rubble. Don't think we'll have any issues with this. Excellent. So we've got a common cuttlefish now. So that sorts out that sorts out yet another issue that we were having. How much prestige do these guys give? Ten. That's actually pretty darn good. That is actually really, really darn good. I guess because it's not an unlockable fish. I guess some fish are only are only purchasable or tradable. You can make a trade for a specific type of fish. I guess it makes sense, right? I guess it makes total sense. All right, what do we got? Uh, Congo Tetra Fry. Cool, 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 cool. We've unlocked the Red Leg Hermit Crab. That's cool. Can I actually... Can I actually throw the Red Leg Hermit Crab into my... 
into my exhibit over here. Throw two of them in. Water temperature is too low. Oh, uh, yeah. That's not good. Wrong. Wrong vibe, I guess. What about... What about in here? I think there might be... There might be a risk of death occurring in this tank, by the way. What do you eat? You don't eat anything. You do eat crustaceans between a size of 1 to 8. And you are a crustacean at size 4. So kinda, you're kind of the exact, the exact right thing for the job. What about in here? What's the issue? Ah, you're actually totally perfect. Okay, we need we need more rock uh, more rocks over here, but that's that's about it. Uh, this is a little bit of a cramped exhibit now, though, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to pick our rocks very carefully. We need four bits of rock, a rocky overhang. Uh, don't love that rocky overhang, to be honest. A, uh, a salt cave, or sorry, a slate cave even. Mm. Mm. Maybe I ditch this existing rocky overhang. I think that's what I'm going to do. Ditch this existing rocky overhang. Cool. And then go into move mode. And we move this. Actually, move the barrel first to there. Move this to there. And then that should be a large enough space for a slate cave. Not enough money. 688 bucks. Cool. And that's not enough rocks, apparently. That's ridiculous. We need more rocks. Is there a better... Is there a better thing that I could go for? That only gives us two rocks. Pitted column, a rocky overhang. A rocky overhang did seem like the appropriate thing to put in. You know what? Throw in... No, I should put I should throw in some rubble or something. I should throw in I should throw in some rubble, but I don't think I've got the space for the rubble. That's a real problem, in fact. Okay, let's I can't even I can't even really rearrange things because it's so cramped in this exhibit. Okay, the slate cave the slate cave is overkill. The slate cave is definitely overkill. We need we need eight Eight rocks. That's literally it. That's all we need. That's all we need. We don't even need the slate cave. I don't even know what I'm. I don't even know what I'm thinking of. We just need rubble in there, and then also small rocks as well. That's all that we require. That's all that we require, and that adds yet another species into the mix, which is excellent. The cuttlefish is about to give us a whole bunch of prestige as a reward, I suspect, as long as that goes off without a hitch, which I suspect that it will. A U-tank. Excellent. A tool belt dispenser. Also, there are no more toolkits left in the aquarium, which makes me think that we should maybe get some more toolkits, right? That's a pretty logical, uh, logical step, I believe. Cool. Cool. And cool. Alright, nice. Regal Tang is at risk of death because the water temperature is too low. Congo Spawn have died. That's fine. Not super worried by that. We completed the uh, we completed the reward whilst I was clicking through that, so that's good too. Very very happy with that. Lots of lots of fixing needs to be done, and also I think we need to hire some more people. It's getting to that point again. You know, we've just got quite a lot of stuff. Got quite a lot of stuff. We got quite a lot of quite a lot of fish. Okay, and what is this? This is a this is a sand eel. Let's get one of those in there, just so that it's a little bit easier to access. Cool. All right. You know what? I'm gonna hire a couple of additional staff. Gift shop supplier. Sure. We actually do have a couple of people that are now needed to supply the gift shop. So, three or four more employees should make all the difference just doing a few extra tasks. Hopefully it won't end up being super, super expensive. Scarlet is leveled up. Uh, talking, sure. 
congratulations. We do have a lot of staff, and we do need to level them up pretty consistently. Which is pretty annoying, but we might just persevere. Might just persevere. Alright, a fish-eating anemone. Animals with a size of between 1 and 2. Well, you know what? My... My ideal place, my ideal place for that fish would be in here. If indeed it's, it's, uh, it's hot water. Right, a fish eating anemone. Fish eating anemone. Where the heck is it? It's a cold, it's a cold water fish. Can I try throwing this in here? I don't think that that would be too much of a problem, actually. I think everyone... Everyone will survive, because you only eat animals. And you only eat crustaceans. And the anemone is is neither of those things. So, that's gonna work. Just like a... Just like that, I guess? Excellent. I throw down a large protein skimmer. That will probably be enough additional filtration to make it all work. We've actually already got another anemone in there. I don't actually know what that type of anemone is, but it's it's another type of anemone nonetheless. Either way, the more anemones, the better. A tool belt dispenser, what does that help with? Uh, it increases fixing skill. Okay, that's pretty darn good, in fact. Uh, and now we're on to the rank 9 science research. Very cool. A triple filter. Oh, yeah. That sounds like a, a good bit of tech. A good bit of kit, if you'd like. Excellent. No deaths, no deaths, no death. No deaths are good deaths. What? No. What I mean to say is that as long as fish aren't dying, I'm I'm pretty happy with that. Lack of supplements. That's that's not good. That's actually not good at all. That's that's really quite poor. I th I think getting a staff room with like a whole bunch of feeding sticks and toolkits and Tool belts, tool kit belts, all that sort of stuff. I think that would be really quite good. Because we're not... We're not really managing to get these supplements. I think this is going to lead to this Mirror Anthea dying. Right? No, it doesn't, didn't quite die, but it it is... It is, it is dying quickly. It needs a supplement every every three days, and we have yet to supply those supplements in a timely manner. It's because, I mean, it's my fault, isn't it? It's because I can't be bothered leveling people up, and therefore they're just becoming, you know, relatively less useless. Relatively less useful, I should say, uh, in comparison to what I need them to be doing. I need them to be useful employees, and I need them to be able to feed fish fast. That's right. The three Fs. That's how I run my aquarium. Feed fish fast. A giant hatchet fish. I actually need you. I actually need you for a uh, for an exhibit that I'm working on. So that's really, really good. That is, in fact, great news. Okay, red-bellied piranha. Excellent. I mean, this whole... This whole thing is going great. This whole thing is going great. The fact that we've got sharks now as well is, is really, really good. We've got some jellyfish. We're absolutely burning through the science. It feels it feels great, actually. It feels really good to be working this hard and this fast. This is just excellent. I am loving this aquarium. I am loving this aquarium. I still said zoo in my head, though. Which kind of blows my mind. Because it's not a zoo. Not a zoo at all. Uh, I guess I can open this walkway up. Just to allow people to get through. Even though it doesn't particularly matter. Uh, we are very, very close to hitting level 10. I believe there are 12 levels. I believe there are 12 levels. It certainly looks that way from uh, from the different ranks that I can see in the, in the science tab and also the ecology tab. So I'm going to assume that there's 12 levels. And we're very, very close to hitting them. I think, honestly, one final, one final freshwater tank would really get us across the line. And that is, hopefully, what we're going to do in the next episode. But ladies and gents, that is it for now. Thank you oh so much for watching this episode of Mega Aquarium. Thanks, as ever, to the fantastic Orbital Potato Patreon supporters over at patreon.com forward slash Orbital Potato. Also, thanks to Banana Nanana and C Senpai for being the two twenty-five dollars plus tier patrons. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.